Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Sarah and this is Emmy. And I am about to start another new project. I was working on something else and then we lost power. So I can't really continue working on that project until I have power for my machines again. So I thought I would start, you know, another project. Don't mind the sweat, it was 85 degrees in here before we lost power and, you know, half the functioning air conditioning. <laughs> it's really hot in here. Anyway, I have seen a couple of people do underwater photo shoots and, and have fun with that sort of stuff. So I thought I would buy some sequin fabric. Uh, actually, well, these are, I bought two tablecloths. The yardage was cheaper than the actual nice fabric. Since I'm gonna jump into a pool wearing this, you know, it's not really gonna last anyways. So I'm going to get started with cutting and pinning and not stitching because we're not going to get power back for a while. And also absolutely melting because a million degrees in here. Right, Emmy? This is what I was working on before. That's a secret project though. It was too hot without my fan, so I gave up. It's a new day now, and I have laid out skirt. Well, I had laid it out. Someone stepped on it. So I'm going to cut this skirt part out, and then I'm going to cut the bodice out from what's left over. So I'm just going to do a full circle skirt with a little bit of a train. This video is all going to be a voiceover because I was running my fan and my embroidery machine the whole time. I used the salvage edges for the seams to cut down on the number of sequins in the pool. By the way, these are not my good sewing scissors. They don't like opening. I'm hoping the fabric will do very elegant things in the water. I added a train to the back for extra drama. The first sequin casualties. It only got worse. My skirts are cut and I'm going to sew them together now, but I don't really want to hand sew all of the sequin fabric. I know I'm going to break a lot of needles, so I have come prepared. I actually broke no needles, but I have in the past. The fan was worth the trouble. I used, well, I tried to use Simplicity, uh, I don't remember, so I'll put the text on the screen here for the bodice. I started with a mock-up which became the lining since it fit. If only it were that easy. Since that fit, I jumped into the sequin bodice. This was cut from the leftover fabric after cutting the skirt. Stupid scissors. Look at my hand. That is foreshadowing right there. I have been an avid swimmer my whole life, which is why I spent six years on swim team. I've always just loved being underwater. I bought myself a mermaid tail last summer, which is a whole other video. You should go watch that too. This red organza is for a different project, but it can spare a yard for the straps. It should be noted that this pattern piece was designed for straight grain lace, aka not bias cut organza, so it's stretched. I really hate these scissors. The spring doesn't open like it's supposed to. Yay, Walmart. Done cutting the fabric, so time for an embroidery update. Things are shaping up. I'm making tropical bookmarks in honor of my new pineapple plant. I pinned the organza straps together and stitched and top stitched before cleaning up a little bit because the amount of sequins free in the house was getting ridiculous. Like, there's one on a spider web outside. I pinned the straps to the bodice, which was harder than usual because I skipped the marks for lining them up. Don't do that. I sandwiched them between the lining and the bodice before remembering that I wanted to keep the sequins as far away as possible from the sewing machine's inner workings, so I flipped the pins to the top side and stabbed myself. Luckily, the dress is red. That band-aid is from something unrelated. Safety first. Well, my eyes were safe. Ow! My pineapple bookmark is looking lovely, as is my inspiration. I matched the center of the skirt to the center of the bodice and pinned. I cut 
a slit for the zipper in the center back, which is the only raw edge of sequins in this whole dress. I used a back stitch to attach the invisible zipper instead of my machine because... I can't remember why, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. I also hand sewed the lining to the waist seam, trapping all those loose sequins inside. My efforts were not in vain as there were very few sequins in the pool when I was done. Emmy, you're playing with fire. I turned my fan off for a second so I could show you that I made another dress in a day by accident. <laughs> Whoops. So this is the front of the dress and uh, I turned my fan off for a second because it is 84 degrees in here. The back though is gorgeous. <laughs> wow, I love it. So it's not hemmed yet because this is a circle skirt so I'm gonna let it stretch for a couple of days before I hem it. But basically the dress is done. Also, the bookmarks that I was making during this have dried and they came out excellent. There were just sequins everywhere. Two days later and it was still roasting in here, but the hem has stretched so I'm going to hem it. Is it really hot in here, Emmy? Is it too hot for Emmy? She wants to go S-W-I-M again. My dress form is set to my height, so I pinned the hem length. Hey! I heard that! What? I'd like a seltzer! It got up to 88 degrees in here the other day, and I had to bail, but the AC does work again. Not for this video, but for me editing, and it is nice and cool. One more try on before cutting. I cut the hem to be one inch longer than the floor because I did a half inch double fold hem. So I folded it over one half inch and then folded it again to trap all the sequins. We have a Judah. Do you like my dress, Judah? This is my last clip, and I only need one more. One more safe seam. I'm done hemming. I briefly turned off my fan, but it's only gonna last for like 30 seconds before I start melting. I cannot for the life of me find a red button or a red anything. So I guess I'm done for now. It's too hot to do anything anyways. Oh, and uh, I have to unclog my sewing machine. Stop going fast and uh, I don't want to break it. So My mom found a red button for me. It goes into the elastic loop.
It is worth mentioning that I'm an expert swimmer and I was not alone. <laughs> also, I can't breathe underwater. Or maybe I can. One last thing before you go. I was talking to my neighbor a couple days ago, and she said that her granddaughters really like seeing the red dress in the window, so I have to put it back on. This, this is, this is something else. You have to wait to see that.